Remember to guard your privacy. There's a little dog running down the street here. There's a little dog running. There's about. See if the co if the connection is okay. It's a bit out of focus. Oh, there I am. Back in focus. I don't know if you were just watching on Facebook. If any of you were watching on Facebook and you've come. We're going for a nice little jalang jalang, a little walk. Yesterday morning I did a Facebook Live. So do follow me on Facebook. Yesterday morning I did a, a Facebook Live and I was really badly... Morning Kelly. I was really badly prepared yesterday. I hadn't had coffee. I hadn't had coffee, I hadn't had um, any sustenance and I was walking up in the, in the sort of mountainous area at the top here and I run out of steam. So today I've had a banana, I've had a coffee. I want to show you how pretty it is. Now all this traffic, which we're going to get a, hopefully get away from it very soon. Good morning, Potato Gaka. There's your shout out. Oh, don't say that. Good afternoon, Eddie. How are you? <laughs> Eddie, I'm doing it on YouTube today. And generally, it seems to work for me better on YouTube. Noisy. You're welcome. Now look at this. Somebody's got a pool table in the middle of nowhere. Nice. So I'm a bit better prepared. <clears throat> Let's hope the uh, 4G stands up. Because. Uh, <laughs> good morning. Salamat bagi. A little. <laughs> good morning. A little dog here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Actually, I might go and take you see my little puppy. Does anybody want to go and see the little puppy before I go on to the rice fields? Just let me know if you'd like to see a little Balinese puppy. Now if I start to flag this morning I'm going to stop. Now these here, by the way, if you can see them, these are like uh, a bamboo. You can see a bamboo stick here, and I don't know if it's over overly. It's probably washed out. Let me see if I can get another one. They called a penjur. You want to see the puppies? Indonesia is great. They called a penjur. We've got a big celebration coming up. I think it's um, in a in a week or so in Bali for one of the biggest temples here. Temples in Bali, they have their own sort of birthdays, and I think they have them twice a year. Yeah, they're called the uh, Pendure, and they're only just at the moment, they're just bamboo sticks. But they're going to be decorating them. How is everybody? Is my puppy there? Oh, the puppy's there. Okay, turn the camera. You see the cockerel? Oh no, that's a chicken. That's a chicken. Uh, good morning. Salamat Baggy. How are you? I, I come to see my friend. Hello. Oh, 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 sorry. I don't like the camera. Okay, come on. Come on. Uh, Mickey. Good morning, Mickey. Don't like the camera, Mickey. This is Mickey. But I frightened Mickey this morning. Let me just turn that round. I frightened Mickey this morning because I've got this this big camera. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. You're good, huh? Good. What about you? I'm good. Hi. Say this hello. Live? Live, yeah. yeah. So this is Mickey. Mickey is so cute. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> hey. See you tomorrow, Mickey. Let's get away from this noise. From this traffic.
Okay. Sorry, I'm not, I haven't got the shower with me today. So I'm gonna have to go through. Hola, Maria Jose. Amandez. I'm good. Now there's the cockerel. Hey Petri. Hello. Yeah, the cockerel, I'm just seeing it's very beautiful, huh? Good morning, Salamat Baggy. Yeah. Oh Petri, your name is Mickey also. Yeah, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the way. Good morning, Salamat Baggy. Okay, let's get out of the way. The girls are working. Ooh. Hi, Jan. Shower's in bed. She's having a sleep. She's not crazy getting up in the morning, walking around. So she would be reading my comments. So you have to forgive me. Meki, Petri, there's some information I didn't know. So, I'm probably going to keep calling you Petri though. Now look who's here. It's the, it's, it's the ladies. Good morning. How are you? Salamat Bagi. Ah, working again? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Well, this isn't so quiet, is it? Hello. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be super quiet. There's more traffic up here than there was on the main road. Look at this little narrow path that we're on. We got the rice fields. Good morning. Salamat baggy. <sighs> Good morning. I found a motorway path and retitled this video the motorway path. I thought this would be nice and quiet. As the the guys are up here on the roof, the builders. It's a little later this morning. It is warm. It's only about eight o'clock in the morning. It might be a little later now. Now I've had my coffee. I didn't get up as early this morning, Kelly. I was a bit lazy. And I felt a bit, uh, some mornings, you know, it's like, I don't know whether it's the pressure of the, the atmospheric pressure, you feel a little bit sort of, oh, a little bit zonked. That's one of those mornings. Good morning. Now that guy wasn't local. He was really struggling. Yeah, that must, the young girl at the back didn't look Indonesian and he is, he must be a tourist. Because if that was an Indonesian lad, he'd have gone around here like uh, like a blaze. So excuse me if I if I miss, and I don't mind if you repeat a question if you if you have. Yeah, you have motorcycles coming both ways. I wouldn't be surprised if they, I wouldn't be surprised if I get cars coming down here. To be honest. <laughs> could happen <clears throat> so I got up early I haven't got a video up we're putting videos up every second day on YouTube while we're traveling that's the plan it can be if it gets a little bit too much we will stop um, oh this is nice now I didn't that you're discovering this with me today because I didn't come down this far because I wanted to do something new so we could see it. There's a lot of this little dog here. Let's see, these pretty little pooches. This is a popular dog. Morning. Hello, fella. So these pretty little pooches. Do you know what sort of dog that is? Morning. Hello. No snacks. So we're at, uh, yeah, it's like that, do you? 
you can tell they're not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was. That, that, that bike there, the back wheel was stuck out, so I was blocking the way. You can tell these dogs aren't showered and pampered because their hair is coarse and mucky. Not mucky, naturally clean, but. Um, Yeah, careful. Did you, could you see that behind me? I didn't notice it, but I was blocking the way a bit and that bike still went between me. In... Good morning, Salamat Bagi. Construction workers are out here now. This is like a palm plantation. What are they growing here? What do you think they're growing here? Is this a coconut of some sort? It looks a little short for a coconut. Hey, I hope the reception stays. Is the picture good? No, I don't think it's bananas. I don't think it's bananas. If you if you look here, there's one just here. I can see some some um, whatever they're called. Data warning. I just got a data warning. Probably I'm using up a bit too much data, but who cares? <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Guys are from the construction. Let's turn the camera around a moment. No, they don't eat dogs, Matthew. That's nonsense. This, this, the, the people here, they love their dogs. There's so many uh, Balinese friends I've met since I've been here. Just uh, it's just not the case. You have to remember also that Bali is a Hindu country. Most of the people. Hey, Mike. Good morning. So Matthew, this is a this is a country of very kind, very gentle people. I'm sure there'll be evidence otherwise, but from my experience, the Balinese people. I've been beautiful. So here we got a rice paddy and then the moon. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There's a rice paddy. Can you see the moon up in the air there? Yeah, it's very small. Ah, <sighs> good morning, Mike. Salamat bagi, as we say in as we say in Bali. Like I'm a proper local Balinese now. I've learned quite a few words. I always try to learn some words. Wherever I come, yep, see there's another dog sleeping on the path down there. They have a fairly hard life in these sort of areas because they've got to dodge the traffic. So you do see the odd dog that uh, come off worse the wear, but they're also amazingly intuitive. You should see the dogs on the streets here. They're not like, um, uh, respectfully, not like the dogs I see in Thailand. They're, they're much cleaner, much healthier uh, looking dogs, but they're also super smart. I see them walking. With in, in between the motorbikes, but I also see what is that old vehicle there? Look, so I also see um, the people being very aware of the dogs. Look at this old, old, uh, old rig here. What do you think that is? It's all been stripped down, they've stripped it down. Is that a, an old Jeep? I don't think it's a Jeep actually. Somebody might be able to tell me in the comments. Let me check out some of the comments here. <laughs> a Land Cruiser. I don't think it's a Land Cruiser. Hi, Christina. Minnesota. I hope you're enjoying the videos we're putting up at the moment. We've been working reasonably constantly to try and get two videos up for you every every day we're still trying to enjoy it though we're trying to we're making this journey this fountain here we're making this journey more about travel so that little uh, lady there with the urn when that's turned on the water will spray out into this bath here so we're trying to make sure we enjoy that I can answer questions but I, I might miss them <coughs>
the time, you can Google that. Time in Bali, 8.42. Now I see, for me, you asking me the time, I've got to go to the screen and pull it down and check what the time is. And you could just go, hey Google, what's the time in Bali? <laughs> Yeah, there's some beautiful artistic work. Actually, the place where we're staying, the guy's very artistic. He's done some beautiful paintings. Oh, morning, Philip Baggy. Just forgot to say good morning to that chap. You know, I could see him glance around at me. Okay, we're coming to a little village area here. Let's turn the camera. Morning. So yes, you, I was saying, I think the, this is a predominantly, it's a, a Hindu state. Good morning. Little electric bike. Now look at this, <laughs> this little statue here. Morning, Ash, how are you? <laughs> the old lady guarding these two doors. So there's, a, there's the old lady and the old man. But haven't seen those statues before. So yeah, it's predominantly, it's Hindu. No, I don't have anyone operating the camera for me. Just holding my phone out. And filming. I'm gonna go, this'll be a dead end, but let's go down there anyway. So I'm going, gonna go down this, this little alleyway. All right, might, might, you know, the last time I, I thought, oh, I'll go down a little alleyway, and avoid the bikes. So I'm down this tiny little narrow alleyway, and of course about four bikes came up, up it. <laughs> I had to squeeze against the wall. <laughs> yes, Petri or Mickey. The greenery is beautiful here, and it's the rainy season. So, okay, we're coming to a, a guest house here. That's probably all that's down here. Let's have a look. You're seeing it as I'm seeing it. So it's a little guest house. Lovely smell. Every doorway is, oh, here's that. Now I haven't seen these statues before. And there are two of them, the same place. Look, there's the doorway, the opening. It's uh, Ganesh, the statue of new beginnings, the god of new beginnings. And then it gets a little bit tight. I'm not going to go down there. I'm not going down there. I got, I got, uh, yesterday morning was so badly prepared. I got bitten, I got dry. Do you know, this is a wonderful island to visit and we were going to spend a month, the plan was to spend a month here in Indonesia and explore all of Indonesia. But as very soon after I arrived here, I realized just how, how big Indonesia was. And I think we're going to struggle to even just explore Bali, the island, which is quite a big island. So I think Indonesia, if you wanted to explore Indonesia, I think you need a year here, at least. And to be honest, maybe even longer than that. It's so big. It's so pretty. I thought we'd see more rice fields up this road. But there are less than I thought. Because a, a little bit above here are some beautiful rice paddies. The temperature today... I did see that comment. The temperature today is going to be in the, about the 30 something, but I reckon at the moment it's probably about 27. So it's getting hot, but in the shade it's quite nice. Hello, good morning. Good morning, so much baggy. I'm gonna turn the, the camera. The air smells fresh and crisp. That guy went past before, I'm sure. Good morning, Hello, how are you? 
Now, now, now I'm smelling tumble drying, you know? I just got a smell, there's a big giant tumble dryer here. So we're at Ponduk's Laundry Services. Good morning, Salamat Baggy. Yeah, I just got that, you were asking about the smells and suddenly I got that, that very, very familiar smell of, uh, of clothes drying in an electric tumble dryer. Eddie, excuse me if I don't ring, read the, the long um, comment. I just can't do it while I'm walking along because what happens uh, is the comments come up for a few seconds and then they vanish and, and I, I just don't read that quickly. <clears throat> so if the comments are nice and short, I might see them. Um, but I'll read them later. Any comments you put up longer, I'll read them later on. Can you hear the cockerels? So the smell is fresh. The air is fresh. Ganesh again. You do not see pets. Well, I've seen, I took you, if you watch the video, see this puppy here. Oh, good morning. You don't see pets. And what's this? Hello. Come on, pup. He's frightening me because I've got the camera. That's a puppy. That's a cared for puppy. There are lots of pets. There aren't a lot of dogs. There aren't a lot of dogs here, not like in some countries. But the ones I see are generally uh, good good night potato. I wish the comments would stay on the screen a bit longer. Uh, all the dogs are friendly. It, I think if you, <coughs> if you um, are good with dogs, which generally I am. Good morning, Salamat Baggy. So he's wearing the what is the hat called? A pen, pendure? No. The word pendure. Maybe somebody can Google the Balinese. Hey, good morning. I think it's called a pendure. Balinese hat. Maybe somebody can Google that for me. I'm trying to learn as much Balinese and of course and sometime from now we'll be in another country and I'll be trying to learn those words and all the Balinese will get lost. Let me just cross over out of the way here and get this picture. This would make a nice photo, huh? Oh no, need to come further forward. No, it doesn't make that great a photo. There's a temple and the gate, and the temple behind me. Now I am going to go down here. This is a wider road. I'd like to see what's at the end of it. <coughs> The architecture is amazing. Indonesian topi. That doesn't sound right to me. Uh, udang, udang. That sounds what I what I remember. Udang. So I am going to go down here. Let's go and explore. I reckon Michelle might be getting up soon, and then later I'll be able to have my breakfast. But because I knew I was coming out for a walk with you all this morning, y'all my American friends. Um, I had a banana. Isn't that great? Turn back to me. Turn back to me. Then you love these uh, live applications. You know, I was looking at Facebook Live and I was looking at U YouTube Live and both of them have this tiny little button in the bottom left-hand corner. It's about the size of a pea. And you have to press this thing to turn the camera around and I'm thinking it's about the most useful button in live streaming why can't they just make it that little bit bigger see there's a dog barking here and he's barking because he can hear me but there's no way that dog's gonna go for me famous last words <laughs> there's no way that dogs because because I'm not afraid of him and he'll sense that 
What's the traditional breakfast in Bali? Okay. A tea dogster triple M high from New Zealand. Uh, this is a residential area. Yes, this is residential. So the gentleman here, good morning. Salamat yeah. Baggy. Oh, are you feeding the chicken? Yeah. I am? Yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. We found something. We discovered something. It's, this is why I walk down these little roads. This uh, gentleman here. Salamat Baggy. So there's two cockerels here. And yes, sadly, they probably are. How are you? Good. Good? Yeah. For fighting? Yeah, which one for fighting? Mm. So that's one thing, perhaps, I slightly have to, I don't want to disapprove of everything you see in the country because it's not our place to come and judge. And sorry, it isn't your place to come and judge. It's not today's lunch. They're, they're actually fighting cocks. And it's not our place to come to other countries and tell them how they should be living, having had centuries of the way they live. Um, it's for the people of this country to make the changes you know, it's the problem in, in, around the world is with uh, so-called, you know, Western powers going in and trying to tell countries how they should live. It's all, and it's never done any good. Never, ever, and never will do any good. It's, it's for a process of education and a process of, of changing a people's way. And to be honest, a lot of these um, maybe crueler traditions will die with the, with the, with the generations. Um, the internet is around, younger generations are traveling. I met a, a, a lady from this village who lives in Europe. She lives in Italy. She speaks fluent Italian, fluent English. And it's these generation, the next generation, morning, that will change. And they do it just through natural... <laughs> the, the dog is following me, see? Good morning, fella. He's a bit, uh, a little mangy. <laughs> so this, this is uh, the hat. Yeah, it's Balinese uniform. Yeah, and the name? Udang. So, Udang. Udang or Master. Bastard. Duster or udang. udang. In Balinese? Udang. Udang. So there we go. I've even got the pronunciation for us. Udang. Udang. Thank you. Yeah. Suksuma. Yeah. Oh, getting busy, huh? Man, did, did the lights just change? What happened? They will change. I'm good, so I'm be a bit, bit, pre bit preachy. They will change the way these countries developed the same way we did back in the day when the British and the French and the Italians and the Spanish and the Americans even had cockfighting. They had cockfighting and lots of different things that we did changed through, through generations. We didn't have somebody coming in with weapons telling us how to run our countries and to rule. It happens quite quickly, so, so you will see those changes. Even now, I suspect there's a lot less cockfighting in this country than there would have been maybe a hundred years ago. You see, there is a car. Surely, I'm gonna go back because it's, it's, it's getting a bit busier. I'm gonna go back up to the quiet road. When did this uh, path, did, did, did anyone notice when the pathway turned to a road? I'm not doing the, the town area, mainly because of this, mainly because of the traffic. Hundred and thirty two inches of snow. Morning. Morning. How are you? Very good. Very good? 
Very, very good. Do you mind my camera? No, no problem. <laughs> I've you? just come. I have a very magic morning. I went, I woke up at four in the morning, and then I went to these rice fields terraces. Uh, yes. To see the sunrise. Amazing. Okay. Which ones? The ones? No, that... it's 20 minutes by bike. You went on bike, yeah? Yeah. Beautiful. Wow, it's worth it. <laughs> and then I went to the Sarasvati temple at seven in the morning, which is the temple of the goddess of arts. Okay. And I'm an artist, so okay. amazing. And now I'm going to change and I start working on my computer with all this inspiration. <laughs> That's good. So yeah. you're going to start, you start at four o'clock. What was your name? Marta. Marta. Yeah. Marta shared, shared her morning with us. Yeah. My morning, I'm up at seven o'clock having a banana and some coffee and going for a walk. <laughs> Marta has been to the rice fields watching the sunrise. Yeah, I woke up at four in the morning. Oh, I thought he was coming. Yeah. Through. Beautiful. Yeah. So what are you, what are you going to do on the computer today? So, Re reattach with the, I guess the real world. All my inspiration ah. for you on the computer because I'm setting up my project here. Okay. Yeah. And where are you Designing from? Designing my test. I'm from Spain. Spain is But I'm nomadic. Like me. Yeah. We're nomadic also, sort I of. I don't believe in staying in one place. We're not made for that. Whereabouts in Spain? Zaragoza, near Barcelona. Okay, beautiful. Where are you from? Uh, Melbourne, Australia. Ah, good. Good You're morning. Very close. <laughs> very close. Okay, this is my hostel. I wish you a happy day, yeah? Have a day, thank you. Yeah. She was sweet, chit chatting. It's a bit. <laughs> Forgive me for not massively. Oh, well, we chatted. It's still a bit early for me. Marta has been up since four o'clock, probably like mid afternoon for her. So, when did this. <laughs> little path I was walking on turned into a road. I didn't notice it. I think it must be just up here. Now I was saying before, this bamboo stick here is a pendure. Comes all the way along, see? And then towards the end, man, there's still cars coming. How can a car come up here? <laughs> Can you see how narrow that is? <sighs> Surely. Good morning. Oh, I'm getting chased by a car. <laughs> is it your car? I think so. And a little moke. A little mini moke. <sighs> Snoopy. And a glass, look at this. We've got a glass delivery, truck. And a guy, a Western fella here in a mini moat. Also squeezing through. Oh, oh, water, I have water. Let me come over here into the corner, let the mini moat go through. Good morning. No, he can't go through there. He can't, can he go along that little path that I just came along? No, he's gonna end up in trouble. Oh, he's turning. <sighs> Thankfully he turned, huh? Thankfully he turned. I thought this guy is crazy. Now this is not so clever, I think, in a country that spiritually is very modest. No. Okay, this I see a lot in Indonesia. Sorry ladies, gents, you might want to see a lady in a bikini. It's just not done. It's just not, it's not 
first it's not respectful of the culture <laughs> it's not respectful of the culture here they're very modest the ladies dress modestly you can't walk around in the streets in a bikini and then then sometimes trouble happens and you see this in uh, places around the world I shouldn't really I'm a bit naughty filming that lady but you know she's clearly not bothered she's out in the main street in a bikini she had a some European accent I didn't pick up the maybe somebody else will have picked up the the accent there in a bikini just put a sarong around you and come out and talk because you're you're giving yeah not not for walking you're just giving uh, you're giving tourists a bad reputation in a country that is predominantly Hindu predominantly uh, the ladies are covered uh, shoulders are covered um, if you if they're walking in the streets they usually got the, the long sarong below the knees yeah sorry comments share your comments about that I'd love to hear what you have to say me I think we shouldn't this is just not the right thing it's common sense really common sense anyway let's not dwell on that I'll get the comments going afterwards if you watch this later nice little bit of stonework this reminds me of the old brickwork that you used to see in Europe. I probably started some conversations and never finished them, but look at the look at the stonework, the brickwork. This is probably all hand cut. Let me just see if I can uh, get the light up a little bit. So all these stones will be hand cut. You can see there's another cut stone here. Many years ago, I went to a course on laying bricks just for fun how to cut and shape bricks so this is this sort of archwork where where are we back to front so this sort of archwork here very complex very strong very beautiful very complex we've seen a lot today haven't we guys guys and girls we've seen a lot today I'm going to head back through the rice paddies and at the end of the rice paddies oh, I thought he was coming through at the end of the rice paddies I'm going to um, stop the uh, stop the stream yes Cambodia is lovely most of Southeast Asia the the, the traditional artwork see this is a these are Balinese um, tiles so they're like hip or roofing tiles but you can see that each tile if you can see them behind me has a beautiful filigree on the tile so it's baked in this style and this would have all been handmade they probably arched the tiles over their knees and then but the uh, would have supported that with some sort of um, uh, timber piece of timber and then they would have put this lovely little bit of filigree on there and then baked it and many of them would have come out and they're glazed partially glazed no they're little stones little inlaid mosaic stones so they would have um, baked it and some of them would have baked and some of them would have cracked it's very pretty and can you imagine doing that now if we were doing that in Australia now those tiles would be sort of five hundred dollars a piece because labor charges are so expensive fantastic forecast forecast you're a little late yes you're a little late because I am getting to the end that, that's fine Mimi I'm gonna read through the I'm gonna read through the comments everything on the same channel what was that to Petri uh, so let me just go through these comments very quickly see if I vlogs no I'm not gonna do a new channel for travel vlogs no <laughs> good morning <laughs> hello Salamat Maggie. these girls these are my friends 
Oh no, it's different ladies. Good yeah. morning. Okay. Hello, my Shaggy. Shaggy. Bank and up here. These ladies are carrying in the morning, must be 10, 15 kilos. I don't know, it's wet sand, it's heavy on their heads from about half a kilometer up here. And they're doing it, they're doing it in the morning, they're doing it all the way through to the afternoon. See how gracefully they're holding those, those, uh, those buckets on their heads? I have got some nice film of that, so, and a little chat with the girls. So no, I'm not gonna do a different channel for uh, travel vlogs. I know that the vlogs and the travel stuff is not getting the views the cooking stuff does, but we're living our life. We can't, we can't um, adapt and I'm not so head up with YouTube that I want a channel uh, for traveling. I tried that once before. It really doesn't work. I love these flowers. What are they called? Someone give me the name of these flowers so I can remember them if you, can, if you know them off the top of your head. They're not the bird of paradise, I don't think. That's the one that comes up and is uh, happy to be corrected. So a lovely morning walk in Bali. A little further up there's some, do you know what? I'm gonna end it at the rice paddies. I'm gonna walk up. The traffic might get a little horrendous. I'm probably gonna beat myself up for this because I don't like walking in the, the busy morning traffic, but I do want to show you the beautiful rice paddies just a little bit further above us. Does everyone want to see? Would everyone like to see the open rice paddy fields? Back to the UK. I'm not from the, well, I'm kind of from the UK, I suppose, but no, I'm from uh, Melbourne, Australia. But I'm not really even from, from there. We're, we're, we are like that lady was saying before. We've traveled so much of our lives, it's very hard to pinpoint us down to one place. So Petra, you'd like to see the rice paddies. The fantastic forecast, yes. Christina says yes. Okay, let's go up. I put my, my life at peril. This road yesterday was so, so busy. Not like a motorway. I will tell Michelle, she will be watching this. Um, she'll be watching this. She might even be up now. If she was up now watching it, she'd probably say in our name, I'm watching this, I'm watching you. But I suspect she might be still in bed. Okay. This is my, my buddy, the, the bike cleaning service. Morning. Good morning, Salamat Baggy. How are you? And this is the, the, our puppy, Mickey. <laughs> still going, still going. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the rice fields up here. I'm gonna get a beautiful rice paddy view. I'm gonna say goodbye to you all. And then we're going to, uh, I'm gonna walk back, have a fresh shower. And uh, if Michelle is up, which I think she will be by now, I'm gonna have breakfast. And then I've got some editing to do yeah, for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video. S Culinary, good morning. I'll probably find the rice fields were further up than I remember. So, um, and then we're going to uh, do a little bit of work. We'll probably go out and have a little wander. Somebody asked me what do we have? Right at the beginning, if you're still there, they asked about what um, what we have for breakfast. Now, traditional. I'm getting a, a notice from Telcom Cell, so probably running out of data. Never mind. If we run out of data, it'll disconnect, and I'll have to take a photograph and put it on Facebook for you. You're not, are you sending me messages again, Kelly? It was a beep. No, it was a it was a telecom message. But I saw telecom cell come up, so it's probably a warning that I'm using a lot of data. But hey ho, what's data between friends? So there are. Oh, there's another dog. You know, we talked about we talked about dogs and pets as a 
The dog here I see most mornings. He's six years old. The guy's had him since he was a puppy. And he's like a golden retriever. Good morning. Good morning. Baggy. Okay, we're at the rice paddy, so I'm gonna turn the camera around in a moment. If, and then we're gonna end it on this beautiful scene. Just let me get a little bit past the buildings. I'm surrounded by rice paddies here, actually. So I'm gonna go up to this little, little temple house. The rice paddies are on my right here. Now we're not far from some beautiful rice terraces. And one day, I'm gonna film up there. But for today, this will have to do you. We get up to this little temple up here. I'll turn the camera, you can see the temple. And then, <laughs> there's an even more beautiful rice paddy just a little further up there's even a more, a more pretty rice paddy but I can't keep going I'm just gonna do this one which I think is so we're at the temple let me get off the road that's why I don't like walking on these roads and that's why I didn't do there's some lovely rice paddies down here but this one's pretty okay everybody thank you for your comments I know there's some questions there I've missed Here's a little rice terrace just near us. Just turn the camera around. So a little Balinese rice terrace. How pretty is that? We've got some, some girls just walking through the rice. Oh, they're European looking, I think. So how pretty is that? Some girls walking through the rice terraces. I'm going to head back. Thank you for joining me. Hey, if you've got the opportunity to share, you know, if you know how to share, if you do that sort of thing. Whoops, we're all over the place now. Whoops, whoops. If you've got the opportunity to share, hit the share button, share it across on Facebook, any social media. Uh, it'd be great to start building up the views for the travel vlogs. Um, we're happy with the people that watch us at the moment, but it's always nice if you can share it. And don't forget, videos every other day for the time being. And uh, love to you all. Share the love. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. I will read these comments, by the way, later on. Love to you all. Take care. Look at the, look at the sweat on my hands. It's, it's humid. Be good.